Hey, hey, it's time for new merch, yes. So, it's been a while since I've had any DC Superhero Girls merch on this channel. Um, probably, actually, I can't even remember the last time I opened some DC Superhero Girl merch. Probably because the, uh, set for the web series DC Superhero Girls is sort of winding down now. All the merch is sort of stopping because of the new Cartoon Network animated... DC Superhero Girls, which has started airing over in America, but still no word on when it's going to come to Cartoon Network here. So any merchandise from the web series is, uh, they're stopping it. So there's still a few more dolls I need to get, but I think I'm set for... No, actually there's tons of merchandise I still haven't got, but I'm not always interested in all of it. There's some things... I mostly want the figures and the dolls and, and toys, like shields and playthings, but... There's a lot of things like girly makeup sets and stuff that I'm not really interested in. But I managed to find another two dolls for my collection that I'm going to show you today. One of them is a DC Superhero Girls Hero of the Month Wonder Woman doll with a trophy. And one that actually doesn't have a name. It's just generic Wonder Woman. But I'm going to call it Casual Wonder Woman because she's got an outfit on that looks like something she'd wear on her day off. So... Yes, two more dolls. Um, as far as dolls go in the DC Superhero Girls range for Wonder Woman, there's still a couple I haven't got my hands on yet. But I'm keeping my keeping my eyes open for them online on eBay and Amazon. But like I said, all the merch now that's going to be coming soon is going to be for the new what DC Superhero Girls. This <laughs> is what I'm getting tired of saying. DC Superhero Girls. Yeah, the new Cartoon Network show which I still haven't seen. They do shorts on YouTube, but I haven't seen any full-length episodes yet because it hasn't come to the UK Cartoon Network yet. So, is that clear to everyone? There'll be less of these style. There goes the trophy. There'll be less of these style merchandise now because they're making way for the new style, which they look kind of different. Yeah, she has a trophy in this one, and it must have gotten loose in transit because it's come all the way from America and it did say it was new and then it's definitely not been opened so yeah it's just come loose in transit so let's get these both open and we'll see what they look like and here they both are yes they're both out and both of them are pretty much basic dolls but this one comes with an accessory but we're going to take a look at this one first this is no named doll but I'm, gonna, I'm calling it casual Diana this is Diana on a day off from fighting superheroes and she's wearing a little mini skirt and a little vest. The vest is solid plastic but the skirt is material as you can see. And she's got these boots on which can come off quite easily. You can put different shoes on her if you wanted to. Yep. For one of the basic dolls this is pretty good. No, no articulation at the elbows which is a uh, I've never noticed before, but that is a theme of all the cheaper dolls, the ones that are made of more plastic than the are material. Face looks like all the other ones, she's got the tiara. This is actually not a bad doll for the price, it was quite cheap. Um, she's not wearing underwear, which is something I always check for with dolls, I don't know why it's been a habit of mine since I was a child. I always find it kind of weird when they don't put underwear on girl dolls. I find it a little... Creepy. I wish my hair would stop being a dick today. Hmm. I don't look the best. <laughs> but do I ever? Come on. Yeah. I don't know why. I find it a little creepy that they don't put underwear on girl dolls sometimes. But that is a quite a good doll. I can't even remember what I paid for this one because it was. I've been waiting for ages to show it off because I wanted to wait until I got the other one in the mail too, and that one came from America, but this one didn't. It wasn't that expensive though. This one. Probably less than 20. Yeah. Generic Wonder Woman doll. No movement at the elbows or knees. Yeah. The more expensive ones, they articulate at the knees. I've only do, you know, I've literally only just noticed that now. But yeah, the ones that are more expensive and have the more accessories and usually have more material on the outfits all articulate at the on the legs, but the cheaper ones don't, it's just solid. So that's all I can say about casual Diana. Her hair's nice and soft, so that's good. And I do like her little outfit. I prefer her in shorts, but the little skirt is quite nice. 
So let's get to Hero of the Month, Diana. I had to mess up her hair a bit getting out of the box because she was tied in so tightly at the hair. Now in the web series, and I don't know if probably, possibly the cartoon series as well, they gave an award out at Superhero High School every month for the hero who's been the best hero of that month. And this, I guess, is the cup you get. The little Superhero High School Hero of the Month cup. Just has DC on the back. And Wonder Woman's won it this month, yay! I think she was one of the first in the web series to actually win it, if I remember correctly. That was back in season one. And as you can see, this one bends at the arms and at the knees. This one is more expensive and her outfit is fully made of material. It is, it's not a separate skirt and top though, it's a all-in-one piece and yeah, it's like the other one, this one, no underwear. And she's got bigger boots and these come off as well. But I like this one a lot. She's got, she's wearing a sort of sporty outfit which is really nice. I like it when they make the outfits a little different because it's boring to get the same doll over and over and over again with the same outfit. Just a slightly different, maybe, pose or something. I like this one. I've been looking for this one for ages. I haven't I haven't seen this one in England at all. Not in any of the toy shops. But I had to get this one from America and it took about two weeks to get here. And it, it wasn't that expensive. I won't tell you how much. It's not interesting. But, yeah, totally worth the wait. I like it. I like a little dress. Yeah, and like I said, this line of the toys and the dolls is winding down to make way for the new cartoon series so hopefully when that series of merchandise comes out I'll be able to, be able to get more dolls and I'll be able to show off more and desperately running out of space yep soon I'll have to replace this sort of shelf here with a bigger bookshelf like the others and have a full wall of merch but still even then I'm gonna be pushing it for room I'm gonna have to get creative in the rest of my room here see what I can do to make a bit more space you know what I need? I need a bigger place unfortunately that's not a financial option right now but you don't want to hear about my money woes you're just here to see the merch yes there's not much else I can say about these two dolls apart from the fact that I really like them a lot but I've always really liked the DC Superhero Girl doll range look they have the exact same face I think the eyes are slightly different. Uh, this might be a bad paint job. Exactly the same. <laughs> yes, I really like DC Superhero Girl dolls. They are they are one of the mo the f they are one of the first things I ever started collecting, actually. And they are my favourites. Some of my favourites, anyway, out of my, the whole things I collect. So, DC Superhero Girl Hero of the Month doll, and Casual Diana doll. Thank you for watching. Bye!